All right, guys. Day one of 75, 4.30 a.m. workout done. About to go figure out what in the world I'm supposed to take, slash eat, slash drink, and uh, start the work day. But uh, so much for easing into it. <laughs> it was about as, about as difficult as it gets for the first one in, so. I'm excited. I think we've got a lot of room to uh, grow, but I think it's gonna be phenomenal, phenomenal transformation. Can't wait to see it. Finally made it to Columbus, Ohio. After an hour of waiting, we got our rental car. Got about a 20 minute ride to the airport. And uh, then we got a workout to get in 45 minutes outside. And then got to uh, finish my post game stuff on here, mark an eye on everything that we did today, making sure we check everything off. And I got to be uh, meeting our new agent here in Ohio at 5.15 tomorrow morning. So it's going to be an early one. But uh, no better way to start the first day than make it the most difficult day. And no way to start the first week than making it the most difficult week. How about that? All right, guys, that's a wrap for day one. Started with a 4.30 workout this morning. Perfect on the diet, perfect on the supplements and wrapping up a 45 minute walk at 10.52 p.m. Had it not been for this challenge, it is a statistical impossibility based on my prior behavior that I would be out here walking right now and I would have stuck to this diet on airplanes, airports, and heading into this hotel tonight. So thank you, Andy, for putting this challenge together. <laughs> this is just the start, but man, this is gonna be incredible. I just got back from my first round of meetings here in Ohio, um, about to get some pre-workout in, just ate, found these little packs. It's got sunflower seeds, beef jerky, some peanuts. Scarf that down real quick, about to get this pre-workout in, go to the gym, get the first workout in of the day, and uh, then I'm gonna eat some actual real food after that, and then get back for my second round of meetings. Once I get done with those meetings, I'll come back, hopefully be able to get the second workout in at that point. Then my last round of meetings don't start until 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm um, just doing what I can to get all the supplements in today, all the meals in today, water's on point, good to go. What's up guys, so just got back from my last round of meetings, not the last of the day, but the last that I just got back from. And uh, all I wanna do right now is sleep. I was at my first meeting at 5.15 this morning. Already got one workout in, about to get another one in here shortly. But sitting here getting my 10 pages read for 75 hard, because I know if I don't do it now, it's, it's not gonna get done. Also having my second shake of the day, so I can cross that off my list. And uh, again, another primary example, another prime example as to two things that I probably wouldn't have done if not for this challenge. And uh, for that, I am grateful. I'm gonna read 
and then probably shut my eyes for a minute. And then we're back at it. I wish I could explain to you guys what all I did today. The fact that I have not had one second to even think, but the fact that this challenge, the, the one time when I would have normally taken a nap, I was reading and then I went for a walk outside and how radically different this challenge is changing my behavior and challenging my mindset. And, uh, and I absolutely love it. But today has been spot on with the diet, spot on with the workouts, spot on with the supplements and uh, feeling a lot of momentum coming out of day two. Still got more work to do tonight, but uh, started at 5.15 this morning, so it's been a full day. And starting at 5.30 tomorrow morning, once I finally end today. So with that, that's the recap of day two, 75 hard, going strong. You're a camera right now, by the way. Sweet dip. And Pablo, where's your shirt? <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone when I'm 75 harding. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. I want to make sure that when people see this, they don't look at like, you know, three hours sleep, four hours sleep. Like that's the goal. That's definitely not the goal. Sleep is extremely important. And, and even myself, like I can only go, I used to be able to go four or five days on that pace before I'd crash. But uh, today I was dead tired when I woke up. And so when I got back from my first group of meetings today, I had to take a nap. I uh, had to get it in. And so I ended up sleeping, you know, it was deep, deep sleep uh, for a little over an hour and a half. So because of that, I had you know a very, very short time window to be able to get the first workout into the day. Uh, but we just went out and ran uh, for 45 minutes and uh, got it done. Now I gotta race in, take a shower, and head to my next meetings. I actually think I'm probably gonna be late uh, at this point. Um, but man, uh, again, it's just another prime example of something I would have never, ever, ever, ever done if not for this challenge and this level of accountability pushing me to make sure I got that workout in because I know I don't have time between the meetings this afternoon and the meetings tonight to get two workouts in. So I had to get one in this afternoon in order to get the second one in uh, later this evening. So uh, extremely grateful uh, for this challenge and what it's doing already, the momentum I feel. It's uh, absolutely incredible. For those of you that haven't jumped on board, I highly recommend it. I've gotten so many DMs, so many Facebook messages of people that are starting day one uh, today or yesterday, and it's uh, absolutely incredible. Um, and uh, lastly, I wanna do a little Instagram story real quick. All right, guys, I said there would be a punishment for Pablo walking. So we're about to do two sprints around the building, all out sprints, and it's gonna be brutal. We're gonna make it happen. One sprint down. Papa just puked on his shoe. Oh, that's unfortunate. Check one in. Somebody show this man some love. I'm gonna tag him up here. We're about to create a challenge. He just puked for the fourth time. It's incredible. We're about to create a challenge called the vlog fit ooh called the vlog fit games where it's all videographers creatives one on one go show them some support